NCRP Productions presents a Halloween special, Kids on Bikes. Session Zero, Character Creation. Welcome everyone and happy Halloween. My name is Mike and today we are playing Kids on Bikes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, are we supposed to do spooky? <laughs> All right. Should have probably prefaced that, but oh well. <laughs> Before we get into playing the game, we're actually going to need to make our characters. So nice. let's go around and hear who we have in the room with me. Okay. I'm Sequoia. I have not. That's as far as I've gotten. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Are right, you killing me already? Hey, this is Barry. Hey, everybody. It's Pedro. And I'm John. And I'm John. <laughs> <laughs> Near. <laughs> it's, everybody's making fun of me. Uh, I don't care for it. And I'm going. <laughs> you have to do it before you do it to us. He's he's not Muppet like at all, you guys. You're, that's you're being that's really true. John is the biggest Muppet like person at the table. Uh, I fully disagree, but <laughs> I've, also, I've also known John for like four years. There so. we go. Okay. <laughs> so plays, then. I'm the resident Muppet. <laughs> Some people you can just imagine a hand moving their mouth. Mm -hmm. Oh God! Or shoved up. Okay, that's where I thought you were going with that. But <laughs> I didn't do. I'm telling you, with John, I don't need to imagine it. Right? <laughs> you guys are all big. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. And on that note, okay. Um, so now let's create some kids. <laughs> yeah. 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 Now that we're in the right mood, yeah. right? We're making. We're making babies today. Absolutely, yeah. We're making <laughs> making some babies. And then quickly aging them up, please, for the studio audience. Uh, I thought that this game would be a lot more fun if you guys just played actual infants trying to ride bicycles. <laughs> infants on bikes. Yeah. Infants on trikes. I gnaw on the tire. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to need you to roll for that. <laughs> you know what? If the Rugrats can do it, so can there we. we. Oh, we shit. Go. Rugrats? No. no. Okay. Um, Wait, real quick. I did see a really funny no, says if you please think you're don't. a bad parent, just think about those parents. And I was like, yeah, that's actually a solid piece of advice. Yeah. Oh, the yeah. They lost their kids in freaking Paris. Every, like, every, you... every time. Yeah, I do yeah. mention Rugrats every time. Right? Yeah, I think you do. Yeah. 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 Continue. Okay, so if... <laughs> You, I guess you have permission right, to go, yeah, yeah. Mike. Now right. I see the Muppet. Yeah. Yeah, I told you. He's a Muppet. <laughs> I'm done. Oh. I'll say it again. No. Waka waka. <laughs> waka waka. Um, okay, so uh, if you... <laughs> God damn it. Okay, yeah. So if you look at the character sheet that I've handed you, yes. um, one of the things that you will notice are stats. You have yeah. fight, flight, brains, brawn, charm, and grit. Nice. Now, in each one of those, you need to put one of your die all the way from a D4 Whoa. up to a D20. Cool. Oh, interesting. Okay. okay. And then I would like you to think of whatever trope you would like to play. Go ahead and try to get it as close as you can. If you're playing a big dumb jock, you know, okay, um... brains are a D4. Dibs on leather jacket, kid. And what is a D for, Mike? I'm not saying it. Okay. Very well. So many possible ways. <laughs> Caltrops. <laughs> the climbing thing. No, I, they're the what, little spiky trops? things. Yeah. You throw... you think, have you Crampons? never played D and D? No, honestly. She's not talking about tampons, John. Shut crampons. up. Crampons. No, nobody. I don't think. Crampons. Yeah, crampons. So, John, no, in all the years no, that I ran, has ever thing. used those. Uh, yeah, crampons it's are for climbing. You put in, and then it like cramping. Right? Look, I mean, okay. Right now, Sequoia is trying to mime what a tampon does. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> <laughs> and she did it very successfully. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, she, and she's whipped it around, and I think it hit me. Okay. Right. So Pond jokes. So are we playing more fighting fighting is... So, yeah, I can give you just a quick rundown yeah, of yeah. what each of these are. So your brains, that's how book smart you are, how quickly you're able to like solve academic problems. Your brawn is how strong you are and how physically intimidating you are. Your fight is how good you are at fighting. Your flight is how fast you are and how easily you evade your own problems, both literally and figuratively. It's how tough you are to trap physically and verbally. Your charm is how socially adept you are and how good you are at reading others' emotions. And your grit is how hard it is to break you emotionally or physically and how street smart you are. Mm -hmm. 
So your D20 is something that you are superb in. <laughs> no. <laughs> your D12 is something you are uh, impressive at. <laughs> just I just already like my character <laughs> immediately with this just laying out numbers. Your D10 is something that you're above <clears throat> average at doing. Flight? Wait, oh, there are they explained right here. Never mind. I have it right here. It's how fast you are, how easily you evade your problems, both literally uh, and figuratively. Okay. And how tough it is to trap you physically and verbally. Your D8 is something that you are below average at. Your D6 is something you are bad at. And your D4 is something that you are absolutely terrible at. So again, consider the trope that you want to play. Thinking back to all those movies, Goonies, It, all the other ones. Sandlot, Bad News Bears. Yeah, I've been thinking about a lot of them. Okay. Well, I just put this in front of you like 10 minutes ago, so it couldn't have been that long. They're starting to come up. (laughs) Bridge over the river, Kwai. Oh, right, right. Yeah. And Seven Samurai. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. Seven Samurai babies. Can't can't forget Hamburger Hill. (laughs) No, I I think they were teens in that one. Actually, that's sadly true. That is sad. Yeah, that's sad. No, I'm sad. (laughs) So then, go ahead. Say your Muppet joke. No, I don't have a Muppet. I just love, I love, I love this character already. I'm growing to love mine too. Oh yeah, I even have it. This is good. You guys have spent 40 seconds with these characters. I'm glad that you love them. If anything happens to her, I'm going to kill everyone in this room and then myself. (laughs) Wow. So you say every session. (laughs) That is true. You do say that constantly. I mean it every time. <laughs> and now we have a couple of, you have a motivation that you decide, you have flaws, and then you also have these right here, which are your traits. I don't have the book sitting in front of me, so I don't know what they're called. But it's things like being cool under pressure, being lucky, mm. things like that. Are you talking um, about the book to your left? Well, yeah, thanks. The okay. listeners couldn't see that. <laughs> there's uh, no book there, Barry. You're yeah, lying. there's no book. Yeah. <laughs> they, they seem to be analogous to um, proficiencies. Or yeah, skills yeah, yeah, in D and D. How many do we pick? You get two. Okay. Two? You get two of those and two flaws as well. They are called strengths, apparently, not strengths. traits. Strengths, interesting. Yes, you have strengths and you have flaws. Not me. You know what? Now you get one strength and three flaws. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just like in real life. What a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, try to do that quietly. Yeah. Yeah, good job. So I we, cracked open a beverage. We can pick any off this list? You can, and the list of what those actually do is being passed around right now, because out of all the things that I printed five of, that wasn't one of them, because I'm hella smart. Here you go. Here's smart. another one. Thank you. You so are very, very welcome. Adversity tokens. Yes. So an adversity token is something that you get every time you fail a roll. Yes. So whenever you fail a roll, you will receive another adversity token. And it is something that you can use either to give yourself or somebody else a plus one on their roll, or you can use it, the the strengths have different uses for them. Mm -hmm. So the words are important because lucky, prepared, and protective all say the exact same thing, may spend two adversity tokens to re-roll a stat check. So it's how you envision your character, So I'll tell you what, that might be my error. (gasps) <gasps> uh, yeah, they're different in here. Oh, sure. <laughs> You're in so much trouble, I Mike. really, really am. Ooh. I know. I'm Get the em. worst. I think if I if I was truly that bad, you guys would stop inviting me. Um, and I know that Pedro keeps texting me and telling me not to show up, but... <laughs> I do. I'm a notorious bully. <laughs> <laughs> Ask everybody. So are we playing as... Kids, like under 12, or because so, one of these is just for teens. Right, yeah, so I was thinking probably around f- your freshman year in high school, that's what I was considering. Oh, okay, oh. that changes a lot of things. Oh, oh does it? That makes me sad. The, the tip from 6th grade to 12th grade, or even... even wow, that's a, that's a... Did you go that fast between <laughs> grades? I, I, I can do... Don't make fun of me, I'm so stupid. Counting from 6 to 7 is not math. It's like, well, yeah, that's, that's true. <laughs> 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 Considering my job, that was kind of pathetic. <laughs> you are a number, actually, in your job, right, officially. So, so I'll tell you number. what, because of my own failure, if you want to know what one of those is, just let me know. Give me two seconds, and I'll pick my other one. No, right. and I will yeah, read it off me. for you. Would you read off a thing for me, please, Mike? 
Um, yeah, sure. What would you like me to read off? For I you? would like you to read me loyal. Loyal? Let me find it right here. Each adversity token you spend gives your friends plus two instead of plus one. Hey, look at that. Lucky, prepared, and protective. You wrote the same things on here, so those would be the three I'd like to know. I was in a rush, so... No, it's fine. <laughs> just so I know the difference. Yeah, yeah. Sure, 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 sure. Oh, oh, never mind. They just names. I thought that said girth on oh. your phone. <laughs> girth? That is so funny. It does Dude. not say girth. I don't care. <laughs> okay, so uh, Lucky may spend two adversity tokens to reroll a stat check. Okay, so that's the what it is. So prepared and protective, what are those? Prepared is may spend two adversity tokens to just happen to have one commonplace item with you. Ah, and protective? Uh, Add close. plus three to rolls when defending one of your friends. I nice. want that one. That's protective. Yes. Okay, I'm done. Who's next? Oh, me, me, me. I'm done. S say protective one more time. Protective. <laughs> protective. <laughs> one more time. Add plus three to rolls when defending one of your friends. Yeah. What is sadly, happening beneath? sadly, the tape spilled from all the wires on the no. table, so it's <laughs> dropping. Again. So you're playing footsie with I, it. I have the worst packing tape on the planet. Freshman. Okay, this is changing a lot about my character. I mean, okay, you, can, you can do eighth grade if you guys want. Just yeah. around there is what I was thinking. Well, all right, that's actually important. Are we freshmen? I think the jump, the jump between middle school and high school is huge. So are you saying middle school? I, I'm just saying we have to. It's well, that's more change. kids, I guess, right? I mean, kids on bikes it's called to kids me on bikes. is... 12 year olds yeah. you know 11 15 yeah. 14 i don't know that's not a kid that's a, that's a... okay yeah you guys are all eighth yeah. graders i'm just gonna say all that right, now so junior high school eighth yeah. grade got it <laughs> I gotta change my, my age down. <laughs> can you count like that just one I, more I, down I can't. Or... unlike sequoia okay I can count two. <laughs> you know the next yeah, number fucked. i know the next <laughs> number after seven that's great I'm gonna before say, six. i have never once dedicated any of my brain to remembering how old a child is in any of those grades. Do you and I not refuse once. Three, four, five, six to times, look it up. Once. Okay. Um, how, what what sub, age range? Subtract, subtract five from their age and that gives you their grade roughly. Okay, cool. Thank you. Guess how many six. times I failed algebra I, one. I was ten in fifth grade. So... How many times did you fail Algebra 1, Sequoia? Six. That's too many times. Wow. You're only in high school it, for four years. I failed How... it in middle school. Uh -huh. I failed it in high school. And I failed it in college a couple times for each grade. Wow. Talent. Yeah. Talent. And now yeah. I work in payroll. Skilled <laughs> at. You can take this one. Skilled at failing oh, Algebra. Oh, yeah. There you go. That, that can be a skill that you have. Okay. That's going to hurt my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, in this game, I'm very good at math all the time. Okay. I'm that's not that's an interesting character trait to pick. What does tough do? Tough. If you lose a, a combat roll, add plus three to the number. You still lose the roll no matter what, but you could reduce your loss all the way up to minus one. One of the more fun things in this game is that maximum die rolls explode. I mean, um, we, we could do high school. I just, we need to make a choice. That's what I'm getting I at. I think the choice has been made. To what? You're in junior high. Because I think if Eight Barry three. has to erase again, he's going to get really upset. Just like that last time when he threw the table out the window. That's a heavy table. I know. It was really intense. It was impressive, too. I took a high brawn. <laughs> um, what is rebellious? Give me. Rebellious. Oh, you have to be a teenager to have that, but if you're going to be 13, that's fine. You can add plus three to rolls when persuading or resisting persuasion from children, and you can add plus three rolls when resisting persuasion from adults. That's pretty good. Oh, yeah. We Does do. everyone have their stats and strengths done? I have mine. I have mine. And on that same paper, you should find flaws. Yes. Oh, nope. You should find them right here, because I lie constantly. And however, these are not all-encompassing. If you can think of a funnier flaw, or just something else that you think that your character would be, would like that would their flaw be? And we take be, one flaw? You get two of those as well. Okay. Okay. But you write those down, those don't have... They don't have a mechanical, ability. yeah. Mechanical. They have no, like, mechanical value. Um, I think it's just for you guys to play with. And these flaws, they go all the way from vindictive to absent-minded, and I think that that's quite funny. I love that you can just choose to be ignorant. How would you know? Yeah. <laughs> I don't like the philosophical the, question, right? I don't like that one of the flaws is Jewish on here. <laughs> it is weird okay. that it says uh, okay. that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh no, I misread it. Oh. <laughs> I was really looking like, wait. You know, it would have been really. It would have. Oh, seen that's it. you're looking at Pedro's paper. Oh. It, was, it was a joke. It was a joke. I I love my Hebrew brethren and sisterin. What is it? Happy Rosh Hashanah. That just happened. Rosh Hashanah. Oh, good job. 
You said that on Rosh Hashanah, you piece no, no, of that shit. Was, that was three, three weeks ago. It was hella long ago. <laughs> that was like a minute ago. <laughs> I don't even know. That. Fuck that one up like 20 minutes in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's start over, everyone. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> start over. New characters. Everyone swap. I know you like these so far, but That's let's get That's a cool rid of idea. Them. Hold on. That was a good idea. Okay. Okay. Not for this, but down the road. Oh, yeah. Well, there We're... is... There is a game called what is oh Plus, something Plus, of Plus. I've, I already have something that. of Fantastic. lonely. So the idea is you all play people who, for one reason or another, are homeless. But what you realize is everybody has these crazy backstories because and they all forget. They all have amnesia. And what you do is you write something. And everybody switches and you write something more and you build the character by the so very The cool. idea that I heard is that you're a party and then you all get body swapped. So everyone changes their sheets around and you have no. to have like. Interesting. I don't know. I think it could be funny. What's the name of that game? It's just like a concept. I don't. It's like a D and D concept. Oh. I mean, you don't have to have like okay. It's just funny. It's like a genre of yeah. films. Maybe like a setting. All right. So, as, how is everybody feeling with their character so far? Pretty good. I love them. Wall strengths and stats. Fantastic. So the next thing that we are going to need to do is <laughs> we're going to do these things where you guys each pick another character mm -hmm. and you roll a positive thing mm. and then you pick another one and you roll a negative thing. Okay. okay. And we'll see how that goes. So let's go ahead and we'll start off. Oh, should we get to know each other's characters before or no? Well, I want to pick, should we pick our, our fear and motivation? Yeah, sure. Okay. Should we do that? Yeah. Is there a list? There's not. Okay. And if there is... Don't at me. Wait, there's oh. no list for fears, uh. well, fear, or flaws? Flaws is what I just saw. Okay. There's yes. a list for flaws. Okay. Yeah, you just looked at it. Okay, cool. Yeah. That's what I thought. And then I was like, <laughs> wait, okay, there's fear too, and then is there... Okay. Do they have anything for fears? I'm, I'm saying no, because I prefer rulings over rules. Yeah, so for fears, there is uh, one mechanical thing that comes, uh, comes about with snap actions, or snap decisions, but that's just if you have to make an in-the-moment decision. Gotcha. It's really hard to just not put my neuroses from... Like being in middle school. Oh, please onto do that. This. Like, you should just make I yourself. Have, I think I kind of I have. I don't mind, but I'm like blowing them into like this like cool like I don't know. I'm I'm, I'm owning it. Oh, you gotta own it. <laughs> you do just have to own it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you gotta seize the moment. Yeah. Own so uh, so the snap decision thing. That's like if you're facing something that is uh, one of your fears, it turns what could be a planned action into a snap decision. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. And description I'm assuming is how we describe ourselves. Yep. As far as okay. Good. Yep. I am prepared to speak on my character. Ooh, do you even have a name? I do. Oh, that's exciting. I'm naming her after the girl after the girl who used to bite me in the lunch line all the time. I love that. Yeah. Christina Ritchie. <laughs> <laughs> she should not have been I'm, my school. She should not have been, She was crazy phase yeah, in her I'm career. Laughing and pretending like I know who that is. She yeah, had like eyebrows. Christina Ricci. She coined the phrase the Christina Ricci round. Yeah. <laughs> What was she in? Penelope. Adam's family. <gasps> was she Wednesday? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. I know who we're talking about. Oh yeah. John, she was like eleven in that movie. No, nah, but she was in movies after <laughs> oh. after Adam's oh, family. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. All right. You're like, there's a list. Your name's on it now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and she used to bite me in the back of my arm, <laughs> and she would take my milk carton <laughs> like often. Wow. Yeah. She sounds cool. Do you still are you still in contact with her? Kind or of, as a grown up, I saw her at the China buffet. <laughs> okay. And I she said, biting people still? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I said, I don't. This is gonna sound weird, but why did you used to bite me so much? And she's like, I don't know. I just well, saw you and I had to. Yeah. What are you doing at a Chinese food restaurant? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why she was there. Yeah, there was a little bit. Of Fear initially, I was like, "Oh, I got mad. her teeth are huge now." <laughs> <laughs> Did you take her teeth? It her turns teeth out, are huge. It turns she out she's a beaver. She lost, yeah, the chewing was old. Yeah. She lost all her baby teeth, and then she had grown-up chompers come in. Wait, how old was she when she was biting you? We were in like third, fourth grade, both years. She was fourteen. She never had baby teeth. Tonight. She was my babysitter. <laughs> I just don't know. Yeah. Huh. Wow, well, it's good that we're all wondering that none of us have kids. So, no. oh wait, I haven't. I, I have a kid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> when did he lose his last tooth? Did you somewhere between six and seven? 
Oh, so yeah. Well, we all right, wait a minute. Though the, there's, I think they're twelve year old molars is the other ones. Mm-hmm. But the main teeth, like the teeth you think of, is generally six, seven, eight. That okay. Year, I believe. So she was out of teeth by the time she was biting me. Yeah. <laughs> That's hard. Out of teeth. Those yeah. Those are grown teeth <laughs> chomping on me. Yeah, Those she bit me in like the back of my arm, super hard. That's awesome. And our names, our last names, were like really close together, so we were always in line by each other. Oh, that's great. Yeah. That's really okay, fantastic. So, so now, da 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 drum roll, we're unveiling the name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go oh, ahead. Oh, yeah. Jade. 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 Okay. Jade. Yeah, she's a biter. Um, my flaws are that I bite people and she's I steal a, she milk. Is, she has one name like Madonna. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> I mean, okay, Jade McGucket. McGucket? Nice. No, you the person's so she's, real she's last name. She's a doctor. <laughs> Jade McGucket. She, I, I'm 12 just, years old. Be just have no to. McGucket. My main fear is never leaving this town. My motivation oh. is to have one last great Halloween before we go to high school with my oh. friends. My flaws are I am hot tempered and blunt. I did pick this off the list. Um, a description. So she's like kind of like a scraggly blonde girl. She always looks kind of tired. She's always wearing hand-me-downs. Her dad is the janitor at the school. Oh, nice. Yeah, so that's like a whole thing. Um, <laughs> and and her mom left town when she was a baby. She's just kind of like, you know, she smokes. She's kind of like the bad girl. Okay. But not in like a cool way. And like, you know, she gets attention a lot. Nobody thinks she's fun. <laughs> um, and I picked from my skills, prepared, and tough. Oh. My stats, I have a D4 in fighting, D6 in flight, D12 in brains, D10 in brawn, D8 in charm, and D20 in grit. Cool. And that's Jade. That sounds like a very fantastic and very fun character, and I'm excited to learn more about Jade. Let's kick it on over to you, guy who's not looking at me. That's Pedro. That's really rude. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, fine. I was just trying to pick a last name. That's what I, that's what I get, which actually fits my uh, my character. Why I just jumped to uh, being hot tempered. Uh, so, <laughs> and then uh, so I picked for my flaws: hot tempered and paranoid. My character's name is Garth Pines. <laughs> Garth Pines. <Yes. laughs> uh, uh, he's in eighth grade, so he's around that age. <laughs> I know. Uh, <laughs> now, do you want to know the reasons for these, or are we just going over the basics of what we have? Hey, you can go are over we the reasons going... if you want to. Mm, I'm trying to think. No, actually, I'm going to save that for later. Okay. Anyway, he has a fear of claustro- he's cla- he's claustrophobic. He's nice. a fear of claustrophobic. He has a fear of claustrophobic. <laughs> yeah, he has a fear of having scared. claustrophobia. If somebody is looking at a closed space and he's being scared, he blips. <laughs> I love that. Anyway, his fear is claustrophobia. Okay. And I think I got everything. Oh, yeah, his motivation, protect the weaker in need. His general description, let's say short, like, messy red hair. Let's say red hair. Okay. We'll give him no freckles. Uh, Good. Yeah. Because <laughs> otherwise we were going down the stepchild road. <laughs> no. Tannish skin, not not completely tan, but You're red haired and tan? Yeah, sure. Nice. I don't know. It's a good I've look. He's it. Castilian. Yeah. Yeah. yeah there it is. Uh, a little mermaid. Anywho. Pedro, what was your name again? Garth Pine. Garth Pine. Anyway, he always <laughs> wears a leather jacket and it's probably the nicest thing he owns. He keeps that pretty clean. Uh, but everything else he has like baggy baggier clothes that kind of have holes in them where it usually wears like a shirt and jeans with it okay uh you know ratty shoes yeah sure that's about it okay fantastic let's cut over to a berry well i am running garrett leak he is in the eighth grade but he is 14 he he might have been held back a few times my fear is spiders and creepy crawlies i I thought spiders was too narrow so i kind of but of course nobody knows that right uh, my motivation is to get out of school. In, in every <laughs> nuance you can think of, it's that. My flaws are hot tempered, which is really funny because we have a really hot tempered group, we and scrap. reckless. Ooh. <clears throat> and my description so you, you've seen this kid before in, in shows. He's got long brown hair, you know, nice Fabio style long brown hair. He's thin, wiry, but, you know, a little muscular. And I already see who I'm going to have my, my negative with. He also wears leathers and jeans. And then if he ever takes the coat off, he's got something rolled up in his sleeve. You know, like it might be cigarettes, but nobody ever sees it unrolled. Okay. All right. Sounds great. 
Oh, and then did you want the strengths? Yeah, sure. That? Yeah, so just give us a real quick So strengths are one. intuitive and quick healing. Okay. And stats are fight of D10, flight of D20, brains of D8, brawn of, I wrote it twice, brains of D6, excuse me, brawn of D8, charm of D4, and grit of D12. Nice. I didn't do my stats. <laughs> <laughs> Running back. Well, I mean, I, I, you know, I got a fight at D20. I got my flight at D6, my brains at D8, my brawn at D10, my charm at D4, and my grit at D12. That's great. Yeah, yeah I could see some real problems with uh-huh. this, too. This is going to be fantastic. The double Gs always make a mess. Mm-hmm. All right. Did you and also pick a total fight character? No. Okay, good. And we're going to cut over to John. What is uh, what is your character? Hi, I'm John. My name's John. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. My name's Mike. I sound like it. Uh, hi. It's funny when you do it. Hi, it's me, John. Hello. I'll be playing Melvin Calvin, <laughs> which, which is a real human being's name. It's the scientist who discovered the Calvin cycle, the okay. part of photosynthesis. <laughs> His parents named him fucking Melvin Calvin. <laughs> Ouch. Isn't that bad? It's pretty bad. Fucking dude. nerd. <laughs> so yeah, I'm playing my description just says fat nerd. <laughs> <laughs> and you know I'm wearing those horizontal stripes. You know I've got a red backpack. You know I've got glasses. Yeah. I'm gonna only be twelve. Okay. But I'm real smart. So I'm a little ahead in the school. My fear is that nobody likes me. My motivation is to make friends. My flaws are that I'm neurotic and insecure. (laughs) And yes, I just made me (laughs) in middle school. So, like, right off the bat, I'm thinking that maybe we're, like, the shitty kids. And, like... The outcasts. Yeah, Um, that's us. It's breakfast club. And then somehow we hook up with Mr. Mel. I'll hang out with anybody. Please. Just don't nerd needs protection. We'll we'll, we'll refrain from using hook up. No. Look, look, it's been said. Chapter 27. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know if that's the real chapter. I don't know what you're talking about. Oof, we'll go over it later. We had an it discussion before we even got on mic. So, yeah, I'm lost too still. What is that? <sighs> well, well, you, that's not my... I'll, I'll say, it, okay, so yeah. it, 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 in order to overcome the fear that they're having in the sewers, <laughs> oh. the kids have an orgy in the book. What wow, the fuck yeah, are we talking about? I've never read it. Was that in the movie? No. no. Of Damn. course it wasn't. That was in the book? That was in the book. It's wow. the only part of the book I've read. They do. <laughs> yeah. Goodness. He reads it every night. <laughs> That's a true statement. I was curious. <laughs> uh, they do kiss in the movie. The ki- okay. Two of the kids. Not all of them. But yeah, they full on like get it on in the sewer. Wow. The, the, the female character describes the penises of the children. Yeah, it gets Jesus. into like detail. You don't need to do that, Stephen King. No. We're calling you out. I you canceled. <laughs> you got to enjoy a writer, though. Ooh. who has that as the basis of a fear or horror movie. I mean, he should... Sex cr- fixes everything. Yeah. Which is kind of true in real life. <laughs> <laughs> that, no, that's... Um, so, yeah. So my... <laughs> my um, uh, powers... Is that what we're calling them again? Strengths. Strengths. Strength. My superpowers are that <laughs> I am loyal mm. and I am unassuming. Ah. My ah. stats go running from highest to lowest are brains... Then flight, and then fight because of nerd rage. <laughs> then then grit, I put under there. I put charm at a D6 and bronze at a D4. Okay, okay fantastic. We were going to have problems if you had charm at D4 as well. Yeah. Because then we don't get out of anything. Screw Breakfast Club. <laughs> Everybody, so, how do you charm? Fuck you! How do you charm? <laughs> fuck you! So, for every character, I wrote just like a little bit. And then for uh, Melvin Calvin, I just wrote, it's John. <laughs> that is what he wrote. I can confirm. I am heartbroken. You like, you know, it's John. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, like it's Pat. Yep. Everyone yep. says yep. what's Pat. That one. Uh, all right. So um, we're going to go around and just we're going to find positive and negative things that you guys think about each other. Mm-hmm. So who wants to go first? Last one to raise their hand. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Barry, pick another character. So do I pick both now or just one at a time? What do you want to do? You let me know. Do you want to do positive or negative and pick someone? So I'm going to do negative with Pedro. Okay. All right. And I'm going with a nat 20. A nat 20. How did they betray you the last Ooh. time you confided in them? Okay. And I'm crossing these off as we as we do them so we can't do the same right, one Right, right. So 
Just so I got them written down. So we got Melvin, we got Garth, and we've got Coley. Oops. Jade. Jade, <laughs> Jade <Right>. McGuckin. <laughs> such right. a good name. So, so yeah. I'm sorry. Read to me again. For my uh, net 20. How did they betray you the last time you confided in them? Wait, uh, oh, so you want me to tell you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Got it, got it. <laughs> well, the only time I've ever had Garth over to my house, I showed him my Playboy collection. <laughs> and he let my mom know. Oh, fucking Garth! Oh. What a dick! Oh, that doesn't sound like me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know what your yeah. motivation was yeah. for it. <laughs> Trying to hit no on your mom. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Who wants to do a negative one next? Ooh, I want to do one. Okay. I want to do one. Pick one. You, <laughs> Jade. Okay. Jade McGuckin. I want to get a negative thing about you. All right, I'm a little excited over there. Eleven. And eleven. Oh. What did they do that makes you lose your temper? Are you hot tempered, by the way? It's not a. Fl I'm neurotic and insecure. Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, what does the weird kid whose dad is the janitor do that just pisses you off? Oh, I, this is. You've already fed it to me. Jade bites. <laughs> <laughs> Jade bites. Jade bites, and I think it's ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah, a girl um, of her age. Okay. A girl of her no, no. age. It's been a, a young couple lady. grades since last time I bit Melvin. <laughs> but Melvin yeah. doesn't realize that. Yeah, yeah. Uh. remember he's neurotic. <laughs> yeah, I'm not letting that shit go. We I playing... am not emotionally mature. <laughs> we were playing sharks and minnows, and it was in my way. <laughs> I remember <laughs> that game. That was a real game. Was it a game in the '80s, Barry? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, Barry. <laughs> Oh! Did they play that in the Depression? I, or? I'm going to let you know I was not in junior high in the 80s. Was Tag invented yet? Oh my god. <laughs> Just move on. <laughs> we were playing push a hoop. They didn't make the hoop yet. Kick the can oh, they, and roll the hoop. Oh, roll the hoop. And it upgraded 10 years after I got out of school when we used a stick to roll the hoop. <laughs> The new sticks are coming out, guys. We gotta go check them out. Yep. Yep. It's, it's the newest, newest thing. You know, overall, I think that technology kind of sucks, but truly, I'm so glad that I grew up as a kid with toys and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me tell you this. Seeing my son's Legos and seeing what I had for Legos is an amazing difference. For my son, there are wheels. For me, you would have to offset a couple of them on the knobs, and then you would build this huge, like, maybe, you know, <laughs> seven or eight wide Lego that would be kind of like a circle, so it would clunk, 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 clunk. You had to build a wheel out of blocks. <laughs> right, out of blocks, yes. That was they before they invented the yeah, wheel. Yeah. <laughs> no hoops yet. No hoops, no And there wheels. were no mega blocks, which are kind of cool. I mean, they did TMNT mega blocks for my kid. <laughs> Mm. They didn't even have people. That's the other thing. Whoa! <laughs> they didn't like, have, no, they didn't have people, people Legos. didn't exist. No, they didn't have people Legos. I wasn't that old. I'm not a dinosaur, but they, yeah. they, 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 they didn't have like the what are they called? They're not mini mates, um, but they, you didn't have like the people thing. So you again, you would take the uh, the two wide and the two deep. That would be the head. Uh -huh. and you, would, you would stack two oh, wow. three wide blocks. Yeah, I mean, it's it just amazing change. Interesting that you filled the gaps though without even knowing that they would exist. Oh yeah, like, that's yeah. Kind you, of you just made the stuff. And you're like, oh yeah, yeah that's new. I think that's you just Bill. shape things that's into people shapes. So maybe there was a disservice by making the actual people and the actual wheels because you the were much more creativity. creative. Right, so the word yeah. is imagination. And if you sign up for the Patreon on the $10 tier, yeah. you can see a video of Barry teaching you how to make boring things oh out of Legos. God, <laughs> stuff that you put. <laughs> 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 He's actually yeah, writing it down. Like, uh, <laughs> you stay stuck and put me on the spot. I don't know, that, honestly, I, I would. I would learn how to make Lego people Barry. Oh. Right, okay, it's my later. turn, and okay. I want to find something negative about Barry. Yeah, right. his name is not Barry. It's Garrett. His name is right? Garrett. Yes. Okay, Garrett Jade Beef. Garrett Beef. Three. <laughs> the Jade Garrett Beef. <laughs> the Jade. Um, what could make you betray him? Ooh, that's a good one. Okay. That's kind of interesting. I like that one. Yeah, All yeah. Right. These are they're, they're interesting questions. So, because I'm so Wait, desperate, did you write those? <laughs> no. Okay. Wait a good. What? We're not doing. <laughs> you can't kids. call those interesting. Because I'm so desperate to leave this town. Okay. Garrett and I sometimes will find ourselves some kind of alcohol, 
And if we ever got caught, I would flip on him. And I would Whoa. just be like, it's his. Whoa. He had it the whole time. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Oh, my. So and getting in trouble. Only, yeah, and is it only alcohol or is it anything the police would say something about? Yeah, if it's, if the police right. would be upset, I'm blaming it on Garrett. That's great. I love that. And hey, that's me. Yeah, I'm looking at you there, Garth Pines. Who am I going to have problems with? You, honey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everybody likes me. Everybody likes me. I got 17. Well, that's hey. part of your background. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, here you go. Why do you dislike him when all other characters seem to love him? But and it's we. It's not him, it's her. It's Jade. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Why do you dislike Jade that sucks. when all other characters oh, seem to tight. like her? Double G's. Double G's? That's the Garrett two of us. Garth. Oh, okay. Oh. That's my playful <laughs> moniker. <laughs> nice. Is it the biting? That, I, think, I mean, it's, well, that's it. No, no. The biting is just following Oh, you. I thought you still bit people. <laughs> no, no, but the fact that everyone has a problem with the fact uh-huh. that she used to is yeah. wonderful. That's great. I, she could always slip back into it. I do Look in her fucking eye. <laughs> that's it. I fucking remember. The you man. bit me more than anyone. <laughs> I remember and still have marks that I won't show anybody. But we there's... can bond over this. We can call Jade like choppers. And stuff. <laughs> yeah. Two yeah. years later, and Jade's actually going, getting, coming out of her meth phase. Has no teeth left. Yeah. <laughs> then just, we can be friends. Just gumming people on the street. <laughs> I got it, I got it. <laughs> guys, I have to get braces. No, I bet you, you do. Guys, uh, no, Jade's getting out of this town. <laughs> She's not going to be gummers. Straight into the heart of Eureka. <laughs> 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 All right, well, let's out, the other side is a good one. Yeah, right? let's do some good ones. Um, cool. So let's go in reverse order. Let's start with uh, Garth Pines. Hmm. Pick somebody. Okay, fine. Melvin. Uh, Melvin. Melvin Calvin. Yeah. <laughs> I hate that so much. <laughs> Real name. 17 again. Whoa, this one's a rough because you're like a cool kid. What aspect of his personality do you try to model? Ooh. Oh. <laughs> 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 Ooh, I, mean, I know. So glad His I didn't roll that. There's no way I could be cool. Uh, uh, how I, smart he is. Yeah, I'm trying to be better at it, but I've been knocked around the head a few times, and so it makes it difficult. So despite the constant wedgies and all that, you'd be willing to give that up for uh, for some brains? I think I want the full package for my future. I want to be both <laughs> strong and smart. Ah. Yeah. Who, needed, who needed the brains? Was it Scarecrow? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. Scarecrow was the if dumb If I guy. only had a brain. There we go. All right. Michael Jackson in The Wiz. What? <laughs> oh, in The Wiz. Yes. Yeah. I was like, he, no. <laughs> but, yes, in The Wiz, you're right. He goes up to that kid and he said, if I could only get some brain. <laughs> oh, not appropriate. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know which one is that you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he did. Um, and going in reverse order, that's going to bring us over to Jade. Okay, Pedro. Something nice. 13. A 13. Oh, what about him always makes you happy? Aw. His taste. His double G's. <laughs> His taste. You still remember. His succulent flesh. <laughs> and <laughs> Jade is a zombie. <laughs> a one day taste the flesh. I really like his music taste, and he always shares his headphones with me. Yep, bounce. Oh, wow. <laughs> I do. I mean, it's 80s, right? <laughs> yeah. But I also know at some point you're going to betray me and bite me. I know it. You get the so... two headphones you're sharing. Yeah. Well, no. yeah. we, they didn't have those yeah. back in the 80s. You're right. They we just, he would just let me use because he was afraid of me. It makes sense now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> why, okay. why is it everything that I GM, you guys have somebody who bites stuff? <laughs> We never got past our oral fixation. I can tell. <laughs> Fry. <laughs> Fry. And that's going to bring us over to Melvin Calvin. Pick somebody. Uh, Garrett. You're going to pick Garrett. I mean, not Garrett. <laughs> I mean, that's, I don't care. Go ahead, dude. No, it's, oh, I got to roll a die. Sorry. Yes. I was wondering why you weren't telling me. <laughs> Here I go. I rolled a 17. Do it again. I rolled. I rolled off the table. I rolled a 17. It's a 19. 19. Uh, what's your first memory of Garrett? Oh, uh, something nice. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't have to be nice. I don't know, I don't know. Uh, Garrett, Garrett gave me a chocolate bar. Oh. Which linked in my mind, like, friendship and love and food. Oh, yeah. And helped me to develop my, yeah. my fledgling childhood obesity. <laughs> The reason I gave it to him, of course, is because it had fallen on the ground and I wasn't going to eat it. I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, that's I mean, it's Melvin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Melvin's Melvin's Melvin will eat it. 
I mean, how can you respect? It's Melvin Kelvin. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can admire some things about the guy, but great. respect. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What's the deal? <laughs> I mean, okay, well, gotta be Melvin. So I'm gonna go with a five for Melvin. For Melvin. <laughs> what trait about himself that he despises do you appreciate? Oh. Hmm. These are good questions. These are good questions. GQ. Uh yeah, buy this game at your local friendly game shop. Yeah, absolutely. Alright, so so hit ah. me again with your motivation. Make friends. I'm fucking so goddamn lonely. <laughs> <laughs> John, we've told you a thousand times, this is not therapy. <laughs> I think that's going to be it. I, I think it's it's the fact that he likes everyone and every, nobody seems to dislike him. I don't know that everyone likes him, but nobody seems to dislike him. Okay. You know, like... I like remember being the, me. It's the wedgie like for the him, but it's never the atomic wedgie. Right? Oh. He gives a swirly, but it would they flush it first, and then they oh. swirly him. I mean, yeah. I just, he never flush. gets the full... <laughs> he never gets the full... All right, remember, I told you my background. He never gets, like, the, the, the full Monty of, of, of bad okay. stuff. Yeah. Uh, I have a question. So, you two that are bullies... Uh, I'm not a bully. I'm the opposite of a bully. I'll go into my backstory right now and tell you I'm an opposite of a bully. <laughs> um, so when you guys are watching Melvin Kelvin get uh, swirlied and wedgied and all that, are you doing anything? Or Wait, are you... Yeah, if I see him getting swirly, I'm going to do something. Okay, That's okay. okay. Only I swirly Melvin. <laughs> <laughs> and that was where I was going to go. So Jade's there first. I don't... Yeah, I just watch Jade. Maybe I'm going to change what I like about Jade. Well, um, <laughs> well, Jade does know when the toilets are the cleanest and the dirtiest. So, <laughs> so, yeah, so she if, might be a good that contact was just for that. Let's take Melvin in there now. Yeah. Yeah. If I see Garrett swirling Melvin, I'm going to stop it. So you better do your swirling away from my eye. Oh, that's and great. Melvin, I don't know bathroom. if you just don't tell me about it. Because I think if you told me, I'd it's stop it. It's not that big of a deal. Okay. okay? I, I, like, I, I don't know that I view myself as much. I mean, I'm might go into those you know junior high school hijinks but really for me i i envision it's more of the outsider thing like a burnout okay oh yeah yeah <laughs> who's who's getting there yeah we're skipping every class we can yep okay yep mm -hmm. you guys yeah you guys are not quite bullies you, i mean you're john bender that's probably mm -hmm. fair. We're not. We're not nice. John, that, that's from, from Futurama. From the Breakfast Club. <laughs> oh, okay. No, that, that's where Bender got his name, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> was from yeah. John which, Bender. Which one? He's the. He's like the alternative kid. Oh, he's the like Judge Nelson. He's the yeah. cool yeah. guy. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we're not nice, but mostly we just want to go like behind like the bleachers. You just, just like just inside. Yeah. You just want to be loved. And Melvin just keeps showing up. That's perfect. The <laughs> yeah. three of us <laughs> with like Jane, the peanut double butter cheese, and jelly keep going behind the bleachers. Then Melvin shows up, and everyone feels like, well, we can't send him away. I mean, it's Melvin. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you like eat some of his lunch. Yeah. What's, what's okay. your mom give you, Mel? I eat some of his lunch, but it's because I invite him here. Okay. I, I'm mm. just happy to be included. <laughs> He that, actually gives of his lunch, and that's why he's always starving. That mom is the saddest thing that's been said so far. <laughs> I told mom I made friends, and so she makes extra sandwiches. <laughs> I, I, I have apple slices. Okay, then we skip. You and, still and sun made yeah. golden raisins. Oh. <laughs> Melvin always has golden raisins. Golden raisins. Do you, do you remember those? I, I don't even know yeah. if they do them anymore. But uh -huh. I mean, I remember in elementary school, you would get the golden raisin, and you would just kind of hide them because. So for some reason they're better. Okay, well, that's did they really taste sad. different? No. <laughs> okay. No, the only thing I can vaguely remember, and this might be a few years ago for me, but the only thing that I remember vaguely is they were plumper. I have never okay. once like fondly had raisins. I can see them being plumper. Yeah. No, I don't like raisins, <laughs> raisins are not. They're not my thing, dude. I, really? like, I do like the 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 cereal with raisins. Yeah, raisin, raisin bran. bran. Yeah. I'll, I'll take that. Oh, don't yeah. like yeah, the raisins. Dude. Cookies. Motherfuckers that make chocolate chip yep. cookies and then fake you out and it's oatmeal raisin. That is They should I die. They, 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 they should. <laughs> Love yeah, they oatmeal do. raisin oh, and I will no. die on this hill. That's, that's why I have trust side issues, side man. Right. I have is trust the issues. It's a hard thinking, man. If it's not raisin, it's The brain power and the sugar go. I just like to say stuff. I like raisins. Oh. Flip flop. Flip flop. I know you like raisins. Switzerland. Are you? Are you one of those ones that like the the old? It was the grated carrot salad with the. 
I'm assuming mayonnaise and the oh, raisins. I love that salad. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm gonna, let's talk about let's talk about I would Watergate have that at this salad. Mexican joint nearby. Water, Waldorf. Watergate salad. Water, no, Watergate what salad. What is a Watergate salad? If I recall correctly, <laughs> it's <a> shredded documents. <laughs> no, no, no. There's a the the on me. Right? It, it, it has it has marshmallows, yeah. maraschino cherries, uh-huh. walnuts, pineapples, and pistachio pudding. It's that's the like ambrosia. So good. Yeah. It's so oh, good. Dude, good. okay. I, I grew up with ambrosia it. salad, it like, and that is the worst. Ambrosia cocktail. Oh, it looks like something the Grinch would eat. Well, <laughs> look, ambrosia salad is just fruit cocktail, but then with, uh, what is that stuff? Miracle Whip. Right. No, it is no. not. It's the marshmallow stuff. Yeah, you oh, marshmallow, fluff. marshmallow fluff. <laughs> no, marshmallow, marshmallow fluff. Or maybe it's cool. <laughs> you mean cool Sultanas, that's cool what they're called. Cool Whip. Miracle Whip. Yeah, that's... Miracle That's how you can still find the golden raisins. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, called Sultanas. Miracle Whip. Let's just go. <laughs> they look the same. I wasn't allowed to eat that oh stuff. Oh my god! Could you imagine that? So, plus so Miracle you. Whip. No. Miracle Whip is salad dressing. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, it's salad dressing. It does dressing. not say. Yeah. Mayonnaise uh, because it's not that's mayonnaise. That's why it's so right? spicy. It's miracle like mayonnaise whip. with sugar. But that's why they always say, you know, Miracle, miracle Whip it has, yeah. you know, all these uses, and you see them do weird things with it. Oh, mayonnaise so I should was, put it with pistachio. Mayonnaise was a salad dressing originally, right? I think it's a German it? salad dressing. Oh, what wow. kind of green yeah. goo did you just point in my face? It doesn't look kind of cool. On. That's I the Watergate salad. Seen that before. Well, yeah, because it's from the seventies. <laughs> we would eat that every year, minus the cherries. But my mom would make that, and she just call it green stuff. And it has and the little white. Oh, is it? it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And, Marsh- and I want to say little pineapple and coconut. There's pineapple. pineapple. There's I just listed this pineapple, cherries, walnuts, and then pistachio the fluff, pudding. pistachio pudding, and then yeah, it's like cool whip shit and love. And and no, that's a hate filled dish. <laughs> <laughs> That is always the last one to be made, and I could see where like having going through a day of cooking and your kid is just like yelling at you and stuff. That would like, be the you rage. little shit. You're gonna eat this and like it. This, this is garbage. This is some <laughs> trash. You're gonna eat. It's all leftovers. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Circling back. Okay. How do we get there? Uh, no, it doesn't work. Oh, that way. sharing Melvin's food. Oh, yeah. oh yes. 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 I, lo- I love sharing Melvin's food. <laughs> There's like big air quotes around that. Not for Jade. <laughs> <laughs> Melvin is is a total schmuck, and he has his mom packs good food. Melvin's parents are rich. He actually brings food. The rest right. of us are either getting cafeteria or nothing. Yeah. No, we're, oh, we're eating great. cigarettes. Is this, so is this? Are we? Are we doing an 80s setting? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's it's this awesome. going to be vague, so, so vaguely like, in the 80s, the, yeah. The lunch at the cafeteria is like a buck. Yeah. yeah. Or a buck and a quarter, depending on what part of the 80s we're in. I, yeah. How I much does the lunch know. in the cafeteria cost? Yeah, that's, that's a damn good question. Factoring in inflation, how much can I... A <laughs> dollar <laughs> twenty-five in the 80s is like $80. I'll tell you what. <laughs> any questions that you guys have uh, have about like finance or fashion or music or anything like that to do with the 80s, I'm going to point you to the other end of the table. <laughs> And everyone can just look right at Barry. It's a factor inflation. <laughs> Sorry, Barry. I was born in 88. Okay. So. <laughs> All right. All right. I graduated college in 88. That's great. Let's just, let's just pivot from aging ourselves and picking times. And let's just. That's next. He has aged like fine wine, though. That is something that I want to mention. Aww. Um, and Aww. now that we have met all of these characters. I'm 90 years old. Oh, are we not doing <laughs> Are we, are Melvin, we, Calvin, Buttons. Are we done with the questions? Um, yeah, the questions are done. Yeah, you just did uh, one good and one bad. So okay. do we have anything in our backpack? Do um, we start with adversity tokens? You start with no adversity tokens. And notes are our notes. It's not okay. That is your notes. Perfect. Yes. For your equipment, we're going to go over just a couple of things that you guys have, but the majority of our adventure is going to take place actually on Halloween night. So mm-hmm. you're not going to have much with you. We're probably not going to have the backpack. Oh. Except Melvin. There, yes, of course, Melvin has <laughs> it's a It's a character trait. The red backpack. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I actually do have one more question. <gasps> what are each of you dressing as for Halloween? Oh, yeah. Oh, so cool. That's right. Okay, you go first. 
I'm dressed as an angel. Jade is an angel. <laughs> and I have like a like a pipe cleaner halo nice. and like just like some shitty cardboard wings and then my one of my dad's giant white t shirts. Awesome. And that's my angel costume. <laughs> I love thinking that the cardboard came from like a, like a box of paper towels from the school or something. I was thinking like Miller's, like you know? okay. Miller's. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, your character just got a lot more sad. <laughs> it, no, it's, it's it's dark in that trailer. <laughs> I don't think in the eighties it was called Miller High Life, was it? Okay, pardon me. It was me. just Miller. Uh, thank you, just Miller. I don't think it was the Miller High Life, but I didn't think it was the High Life at that point. I mean, I think they needed to add. To I it thought the High Life. Now. Yeah. You're drinking Miller. <laughs> <laughs> Unless they decide to sponsor us. In which Miller's great. Yeah, Miller's oh, yeah. Yeah. Or it's it bad. Right you have to pay first. <laughs> right. <laughs> if so, you don't pay, then we love course. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do. What, what's the one where you you have to? Why can't we pick a beer that we actually like, guys? Oh yeah, good idea. <laughs> Schlitz. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Melvin. Do I have to pick a beer? Can I pick like a side, like reds, wicked reds? Sh- sure. You just like sugar. <laughs> That's what that means. Thanks, John. <laughs> Sequoia is not a a dry kind of drink, per se, no. Alright, so for me, I'm going in the standard classic ghost costume. White sheet, recently bleached, so it's actually white. Pointed top. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Two two eyes cut out, and, and the reason is this. My dad, who's a piece of shit, did not give my mom... The $30 for the monthly child support, so Uh. mom did not have the money to go Mm. buy me the real costume I wanted, which was a pirate. Mm. So I had to go as a ghost. She's doing her best. (laughs) She's doing her best. She (laughs) says that. He won't realize that for 20 years. (laughs) Not until he has his own kids. And then he'll call her and say, I'm sorry. You think it's going to take you 20 years to have kids with this attitude? Yeah, seriously. (laughs) I like the idea that the eye holes are like burns because it's an old <laughs> sheet. That was like, it's like a cigarette burn hole. Like, yeah, I'm a ghost. One, one's a cigarette burn and the other one's cut out. So it's like one little one and one giant one. Boo, guys. Do you, know you, do you, you know how you used to cut them with the sheet? You would pinch the sheet in half and you would uh, snip off the edge and when you open it, it would have some kind of weird, you know, almost uh, squarish look and then you would take the scissors and, and of course... You, mom never let you have the good. Well, she would let you have scissors. the silly scissors. You remember the scissors with the little? The scissors, yeah. yeah. Right. I, I she use those at work those often. You're not going to cut out your eye holes with that. She would only let you have the ones with the plastic grippers at the top. Yeah. So I could never get the good scissors to cut a circle. So it's. I mean, they're never. You don't never give your circles. kids good sewing scissors. No. You don't. No, Goodness, that's no. you don't want to have to hit your kids. My mom did let me use her good scissors once. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't end well. <laughs> okay. So, I, I didn't get to buy a costume either, but I, I <laughs> wanted to make mine, but I waited too long, so I had to kind of quickly put it together. Melvin, unless you say no, I asked you for help, because what we had to go do is, by the, some of this is more expensive than other things, so we just had to kind of, kind of find what was easy. Had you come help me steal some, like, copper pipes for the metal, some thin copper what pipes. ever to fit in. Like, we busted up a hubcap. <laughs> Are you guys really going big... as, as, like, a horse? <laughs> no, no, no. A really big hubcap off of a big truck tire, and then I had to, I don't know, uh, I, I shaped, had you help me shape a bucket. Uh, I'm going for, like, gladiator. And then I have, like, I don't know, a nice stick. And so the hubcap's a shield, the helmet, <laughs> nice. and I'm just like gladiator. And then I have the leather jacket. Is it jacket. a colander helmet? Ooh, yes, that's better. Colander <laughs> that's helmet. Awesome. And then, yeah, the <laughs> copper. Get all the macaroni out of them. <laughs> the <laughs> copper piping is two gauntlets that are, you know, they, they're clearly like yeah. banged up copper piping. <laughs> and if we yeah. play long enough, the tetanus will set in. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to live long. <laughs> this isn't Mark Borg, guys. <laughs> hey, because that's the. <laughs> sorry, that's the tuberculosis <laughs> consumption in the 80s. You know what? We can back this, this one up. We'll run a dread episode and we're all going to uh, Garth's funeral. <laughs> God. Little did he know, the only case of tuberculosis in this small little town. <laughs> Alright, uh, Melvin Kelvin, what are you going as? Oh, I'm I'm supposed to be dressed as Chewbacca. <laughs> 
but from Empire. Yeah, from Empire. Yes. And we have to steal some stuff for you too. <laughs> oh no, my parents are, just, oh, parents are pretty well off. <laughs> oh, that's right, you're well off. <laughs> they just they just, they just got me the a dog. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> and, and then he used that the you know the uh, the glue stick. The, you guys remember the little white stick uh-huh. that you would crank yeah. it up? Oh, I also used those at work. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so I'm dressed as fat Chewbacca. <laughs> <laughs> so the costume is not Chewbacca. Chew. Yeah, because I'm chewing all the time. So it's any, any costume. I wanted to just be a fat Power Ranger, but I don't think the Power Rangers were around in the 80s. I don't, I don't think so. I think they were no, 90s. Yeah, I think they were 90s. I'm pretty sure they were 90s. Okay. I mean, in, I in watched 80s, it when I was growing up. The 80s, you would be seeing reruns of like um, Voltron or, God, what was the, what was it? Gam. Oh, I cannot remember the name of it. But there was the the the, the Ultraman type thing. But oh was, yeah, but it wasn't Ultraman. It was another one. They'd be like that. They, no, they did have. They, oh, they had Spider Man, didn't they? They did. Okay, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm I am body positive Spider Man. <laughs> I'm putting it down. I love it. <laughs> Spider Man. Yes. <laughs> Oh, that's great. <laughs> it's a great change in costume. <laughs> Sorry to change last second there. Hey, but, no but there's Melvin. Yep. They got both yeah. costumes. They got me both costumes. Yeah. 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 Da-da-da-da. It's Melvin. It's Melvin. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. I am so excited to play with these characters. <laughs> Let's get into it. What do you guys say? Yeah. I think we should start. Fantastic. Um, maybe I should use the restroom before we start. The little Melvin's <laughs> yeah. room. Yeah. Thanks. You're moving your hand close to your throat. I thought that meant yeah, like a yeah. break. I thought that meant like I take a quick break. That, that does mean on. take a quick break. Thank you for joining us on another NCRP Productions podcast. We couldn't do this without you, so please like and subscribe everywhere we're found, including YouTube, Facebook, Anchor, Google, Apple, Spotify, and other great podcast sites. If you'd like to help us continue making more content, we'd love to have your support on our Patreon. And if you have any feedback for us, please feel free to comment on our podcast or email us directly at ncrpproductions at gmail.com. That's N-C-R-P-P-R-O-D-U-C-T-I-O-N-S at gmail.com. And we'd like to give a special shout out to our current patrons, MD Parker 4, Crowman76, Loading Mad Cat, M. Coling, November Stevenson, and Rosix13. Thank you all. We truly, truly appreciate it.